Today's dive starts like most of our dives, talking a whole heap of rubbish and nonsense before getting into the water. It's February and this time of year often we expect to find some really clear water and today was no different. The visibility was absolutely fantastic as we headed out to the Hen and Chicken Islands. Jumping over the side here in about 12 or 13 metres it was crystal clear all the way to the bottom. We quickly made our way out along the weed edge out to get some deeper water here in about 17 or 18 metres and as you can see the visibility is awesome. Days like today when it's really really clear I do like to try and explore and swim out wide and see if you can find small bits of reef sitting out on the sand that often you would miss due to the bad water clarity or just swimming straight past it. Interesting first thing I spotted was this big moray eel swimming right out on the sand which was quite strange behaviour but it quickly made an escape straight to the weed as soon as it saw me. It's an absolute dream sitting out on somewhere like a weed edge like this and about 18-19 metres of water and you can clearly see fish from the surface. It op opens up all sorts of opportunities. And it didn't take long to find a nice boar fish parked up on the sand that you could see from the surface. Johnny wastes absolutely no time to charge down there to get a spear into it. An unstoppable force when it comes to spearing boar fish, Johnny is. He moves slightly to get a better angle for the shot. You'll see there there's a whole heap of worms come out of its butt or its mouth, I can't see exactly whereabouts. All fish feed on these massive worms right down in the sand. Swimming along the edge, I try and find a concentration point where most of the current is pushing up against the rocks and you get an upwelling of bait and other plankton and whatnot. On this particular day there wasn't a lot of current, it was quite a small moon but sometimes that can result in there being less fish than you'd expect. I find a nice spot on the bottom to lie and I typically face into the current as that's where most fish are going to come from. The scenery down here is absolutely fantastic. The longer you can wait there, the more fish will become friendly. And eventually, a good edible trevally comes in. It's very comfortable diving in super clear water like this and it'll often help improve your breath hold. After inspecting that edge, we decided to head straight out to sea and see if there's any sort of reef out on the sand. Of course with this fantastic visibility you can dive down to 5 or 10 meters and I could see a long long way along the bottom. 
it didn't take long to find a small rock on the bottom out on the sand. And then further out in inspection, I can see other small rocks. It's incredible to see all these upwelling bait fish just on these tiny little rocks sitting out in the sand. We're in about 25 meters of water, but you've got all this bait sitting up above them. The rocks maximum are coming about a meter off the bottom and are quite hard to pick up with sounders or GPSs. These can be really great secret nooks and crannies to find good fish that might hang on them and might not get so much pressure from us spear fishermen and even sometimes fishermen. Of course, the very next dive, Paul lands straight on top of your John Dory next to one of those rocks. It was worth the swim out. He shot it straight in the bull's eye. And what you do find in a lot of cases, especially in New Zealand, is a lot of the time bits of reef will be following along in a chain. And maybe three or four hundred meters along from where we just found those small rocks, there's this really, really big bit of reef. Being a fair way offshore, this big rock here could be difficult for sparrows to find. Straight away I spot two big ball fish down the other side of the rock. So I'm going to sink down the bottom and try and sneak around the side and see if I can close the gap. They spot me and they start swimming to inspect. But today they're very, very wary. This was a fantastic spot as there was masses of fish congregating here and they were very active swimming around. Large schools of pooroi, trevally, snapper and of course a couple of boarfish. Big rocks like this with big slots and cracks will often have good congregations of fish that we target. And of course on the surface we're getting an upwelling so we've got big schools of sweet, koheru, demazals and all sorts. A great spot to keep in the back of my head and check every so often. Heading back to the edge before going back to the boat, Paul mentions he saw a John Dory and he made a dive for it but it disappeared right down into the kelp. I know it's here somewhere and I figured it's going to be really difficult to see, but unfortunately with this clear water, I could spot it sitting amongst the weed stalks. It was trying its best to pretend to be a bit of kelp, but not so lucky today. Not only is this type of diving great training, but it also opens up your perspective of the reef and the surrounding and places you're diving. Sometimes it can be difficult not to want to go to the same spots that you know you always can get a feed from, but it's very rewarding when we find bits of reef like this out in the sand, and we're able to get a really good feed of fish 
as well as the excitement of the unknown. Hard to turn down some John Dory. And right next to the boat, Sophie finishes the day off with a nice ball fish. Nice work. Extremely pleasant diving, and no doubt more to come as we come into March, April, and May.